Hey guys, welcome back. I am Ultima Mantoid, and we're here with the new LP. This time, we'll be doing a Let's Play of... Wait for it. The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. This was actually a request from somebody that I used to work with, so... We're going to dive right in. Oh, wait, there's some story to this one. Let's just wait and read it. <gasps> Long ago, in the beautiful kingdom of Hyrule, surrounded by mountains and forests, with a giant Triforce over it, looks absolutely pleasing. Legends told of an omnipotent and omniscient golden power that resided in a hidden land. Well, it's a hidden land. I, how do they know of it, if it's hidden? I mean, unless it's like some sort of story. Many people aggressively sought to enter the hidden golden land. Look how hard those guys are fighting. All gray and gray. But no one ever returned. One day, evil power began to flow from the Golden Land. Wait, wait, if nobody ever returned, then how does no does anybody know of this hidden land? So the king commanded seven wise men to seal the gate to the land of the Golden Power. That seal should have remained for all time. And there's a midget over there. I guess maybe he, they... I guess he wanted to feel special. But when these events were obscured by the mists of time and became legend. There's that L word, legend. Every game is like a legend. And here we actually have our first view of the overworld, so. The gaming map. A mysterious wizard known as Aghanim, I'm assuming it's Aghanim, came to Hyrule to release the seal. He eliminated the good king of Hyrule. Well, that's not very nice. Oh, he's an evil wizard. <clears throat> Through evil magic, he began to make descendants of the seven wise men vanish, one after another, with agonizingly slow-paced and strategically timed game text. And bad text breakage. And holy crap, he just shot her with lightning! Oh god, he is the Thunder Beam! Oh dear god! And the time of destiny for Pro Princess Zelda is drawing near. Alright, so we have to deal with a wizard that shoots lightning and makes people vanish. That's going to be absolutely terrific. And with the story out of the way, and me having wasted almost three minutes of your life reading it, we're going to begin. And we're going to make a new character. Alright, let's see. A-L-P. We will name it after my name. Not my real name, obviously. Help me. Please help me. I need some help, obviously. I am uh, hearing voices. I am a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda. The wizard, Aghanim, has done something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. Aghanim has seized control of the castle and is now trying to open the Seven Wise Men's seal. I am in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. Okay, alright, you'll be back by morning. Uh, okay, sure. Yeah, this is the whole game. You wait for him to get home. And you wait. Screw this, I'm too restless. There's hearts in here, so I'm not going to bother throwing the other two vases. Vase? Vase? Alright, so we get the lamp. This is used by your magic age, which I'll explain in a little bit. Um, let's jump down from here. Hey, there's some guards. Well, um, yeah. We're gonna stay up late now, thank you very much. Do you think children listen? Gosh, what's that, what kind of a guard does he think he is? One that lives in a fantasy world? Oh, wait. Hey, another guard. And he says uh, something a little bit different, but the same. Yeah, we know we're not allowed in the castle, but we need to go in. So, screw you, we're going to find a way. And we're going to lift up your bushes and make your decoration not quite as pretty. Hey, there's a hole. Well, you know, I'm sure if I don't get too close to it, I'll be okay. Hey! Uh! I'm sure you saw that coming. Well, okay, so... 
Okay, take the sword and shield, and hold B to learn a t secret technique that has been passed down to people. Of his people, yeah. So let's test this. Whirlwind attack, go! So my question is, he must have, he had to have taken the same way in, because that's where he's at. You know? And here's my question. Is he dead? Did he break his legs? Is he just lazy? I mean, he is, he looks like he is a little on the larger side. I mean, he might be fat and just kind of fell down. He's like, oh, I'm too tired. Oh, this was so much harder than I thought. Well, ladies and gentlemen, behold, if you're fat, don't take adventures. I guess that rules me out, too. I'm not exceptionally fat, but I'm a little overweight. And there was a heart. Yay, but we didn't take any damage. All right. Welcome to Hyrule Castle. Population, a crap ton of guards. That, uh... Whoa! Hey, come here. Hey, more hearts. Let's go up these stairs. Hey, what's over here? Okay, these guys in blue must be a little bit more difficult. Aw, oh, almost did... Hey, at least I got a heart out of it. What's up here? Well, I guess it's a dead end. That's the throne room, obviously. And we'll just come back down to the first floor, and we'll go through here to the left. Now, something neat here. You can pick, uh, like, pots and stuff up, and throw them at people. And they do a lot of damage. Alright, so we'll go to the north here. We need to find out how to get down to the dungeon. Whoa! I'm so used to... I feel like this should have better contact, but it doesn't. I wonder what's in these. Just hearts. Hearts that we don't need! Hey, here's something that goes downstairs. Okay, so the blue guys take three. Hey, we got a map. And with the map, we can actually see the entirety of Hyrule Castle, so. Which, you can actually access the map before you get the map, which makes no sense, but okay. And, uh, goodbye. Yeah, you can actually access it before, and, uh, get off of me. Haha, <laughs> I used the pot. You couldn't reach me. Come here, you. Haha. <laughs> yeah, you can check where you've been, but you can't check the entire map. So I guess maybe it makes a little sense, but... Ah, green guards, good. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, I know, I get hit a lot. I don't want to hear it. Well, obviously, that's just going to go in a circle, so we're going to go through this door. If you will change, thank you. Well, that was interesting. Shutter doors. Usually, you have to meet a small objective in order to get them open. Oh, look! The boomerang! Since we don't need the lamp right now, let's, uh, change weapons. And you can do that by hitting start. Oops, that's the map. We don't want to go there. And hitting Y, we can, uh, throw our boomerang. So now we have something to stun or hurt other people with from a distance. And unlike the very first Legend of Zelda, by the way, when you get arrows, you actually have arrows. You don't take up your rupees by firing them. So, Well, let's see if there's anything important. Always check the pots, by the way, because um, sometimes they'll hide keys or something in there. Oh! What's your problem? Hey, that's a big key! You can open many key, many locks the small keys can't. Gee, hmm, maybe because it's a bigger key. 
Gee! All right, so blah, blah, blah. Wizards controlling people and fathers. Who cares? Yeah, strong powers. Yes, we understand. Uh, secret path, first floor. Okay. This game is easy enough so far. And you can't hurt Zelda, so... Up the stairs we go. To basement two. And that's like the smallest floor ever. It's just one room. That's it. <clears throat> I don't know what they were thinking, but... We are actually at the 10 minute mark almost, so we'll end it here. I'll see you in part 2 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Till then, take care of yourself and have fun.